What do YouTube? B Kelly back again with another banger. Today's video, y'all, I'm talking about one of the most underrated players in all of college football in Rakeem Boyd. Now, just to give y'all a quick warning, I am only going to be talking about his time at Arkansas primarily. I will talk about Independence, the one year he was there, but AM in high school, I'm really not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about the current day as of now mainly. Now, I do know most of my viewers will know this, but for my viewers that do not, Rakeem Boyd was in Season 3 of Last Chance U, which took place at Independence Community College, and Rakeem Boyd absolutely destroyed the competition. In 10 games, he averaged 121 yards a game with 14 touchdowns, and he rushed for 1,211 yards. And to put some perspective on it, in the beginning of the season, he was splitting the running back room with three people, Kingston Davis and Jamal Scott. Jamal Scott, who would eventually go to Eastern Illinois, and Kingston Davis, who went to UAB but got kicked off the football team yet again. And Rakeem Boyd, he did take that RB1 spot, but he did share it with Jamal Scott the rest of the season, but he primarily had most of the carries. And coming out, he was a three-star recruit in the JUCO rankings, and he was the number three running back in the JUCO rankings for that class he was in. Coming out of Independence Community College, Rakeem Boyd only had two Division I offers, and that was Arkansas and Colorado. He would choose to commit to Arkansas to be a Razorback. Now, even though Rakeem Boyd was only a three-star recruit and he only had two offers coming out of Independence Community College, Rakeem Boyd would be the starting running back for the Arkansas Razorbacks in the 2018 season, and he played pretty well for a first-year starting running back. In that one season, he rushed for 734 yards, averaging 6 yards a carry with 2 touchdowns and a long of 69 yards. Now, even though going into the season, Rakeem Boyd was considered a starting running back, he was not getting starting running back carries at all. In his first year, let me give you this example. In his first 4 games, he got less than 10 carries. The most he got was in week 4 at Auburn, he got 8 carries. He really didn't get a ton of carries all season if you really want to know. I mean, the most he ever got was 22 versus Tulsa in a 23-0 win. Now let's talk about Rakeem Boyd's second year at Arkansas as a Razorback. Now in the 2019 season, he saw an increase in carries. This year he got 184 rushing attempts compared to last year only 123. Now he ate up the competition this year. He rushed for 1,133 yards, averaging 6.2 a carry with 8 touchdowns and a long of 86 yards. And not to mention, Rakeem Boyd this season is second for most touchdowns over 50 yards for like rushing. And you may be asking, who's in first? First place is Chuba Hubbard with 7 touchdowns. And not only that, Rakeem Boyd has not the best offensive line and he's still putting up amazing numbers at Arkansas and he's going against some very tough competition. I mean, he's in the tougher side in my opinion in the SEC, the SEC West where he's playing teams like LSU, Alabama, and Auburn yearly. And he's still putting up very good numbers and I'm only gonna see him, I think he's only gonna go up from here. And not to mention, Arkansas has been one of the worst Power 5 teams recently. His first year at Arkansas in 2018, 2-10, with a loss to North Texas. In 2019, 2-10, this time with a loss to Western Kentucky. Those are teams that Arkansas should not be losing to. Of course, Arkansas, Arkansas does look like they're in the right direction. They got Felipe Franks now, and Pittman's doing very good on the recruiting end. But... I don't see immediate success like a bowl game, but Rakeem Boyd in my mind is very underrated and I see him only going up from here. I'm seeing next season being an even better season and to help him get his draft stock up. Honestly, he could have probably been drafted this past season, even in a loaded running back class because Rakeem Boyd, he's a good running back whether you want to admit it or not. And I think he's one of the most underrated college football players out there. And not only that guys, let's be real here. If Rakeem Boyd was not on Last Chance U Season 3 at Independence Community College, would we even know about Rakeem Boyd? Like, be honest. Like, what fans would be like, Rakeem Boyd, that guy's underrated, people need to pay attention to him. Obviously, NFL scouts would know about him because they are scouting the players. But 
let's be real here. Really, SEC fans, intense college football fans, and Arkansas fans are going to be the ones that will be talking about Rakeem Boyd. The average fan will be like, Rakeem Boyd? Who is that? Heck, some people still don't know who Rakeem Boyd is, and he was on Last Chance U. I'm just saying, if he wasn't on Last Chance U, a lot of people will still be like, who's Rakeem Boyd? And people need to know Rakeem Boyd's name now, because honestly, this guy's going up, and in my mind, he is a top 10 running back in college football right now, and you can expect to hear his name on draft night. Well guys, if y'all liked the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly out.